Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft or Spawn Edition. Now, if you guys missed the previous episode, we took on... Well, I guess you could say we attempted to take on the worm boss at the very end of the episode, and we failed miserably. And by that, I mean he almost killed us, took all of our stuff. I think we even lost a piece of dirt in the process. Now, that piece of dirt could have won the entire series for us, but... As you can see, my armor's looking very bad and beaten up, and all my tools and such have been used as well. So in today's episode, we're going to look for finding new armor, I would say. Because this armor's definitely going to break soon, and all we have left is the chain armor we have downstairs. Now you're probably wondering, why are you starting off the episode up here? Well, if you've noticed already, we finally completed the, ups the roof. This is finally sealed off, and we finally have a new entranceway, so if we come down here... As you can see, everything looks organized. We have a few more chests. We got two iron chests now that has our food and all and some more um, decoration items and whatnot. And we're cooking up two stacks worth of cobblestone currently because I'm going to do something hopefully with that with an extension in the future. That means that we still have two chests here with just random junk in it that we have no use for still so far. I think it was last episode we also got our first inventory pet, which is the crafting table pet right there. So that's a good thing also. So I wanted to say, oh wait, these do not belong there. What are we doing? these go over here so I wanted to say if you guys are excited and want to see more of this series please hit that like button to show your support and let's get this episode started off so we of course we're trying to get more armor so you'd probably think well obviously you would go mining right wrong today guys we're venturing off to the unknown we're going to where the worm is the worm should still be right here and why did I get hurt so much when I teleported here geez all right well the worms right there but we're not after the worm. What we're after this episode is getting better gear. Now, that means that I still kind of want to get revenge. So if one of these pops, I'm shooting him with an arrow. Um, all right. Now that we got our revenge. We'll definitely come back to this dude, and we need to kill him. But right now, what I want to do is um, still venture out and try to find not. Well, I'd like to find a dungeon, but some structure that can give us more armor. I don't want to mine. We did that too much already. We need to find new ways of doing it. I'm just curious for a second. Is this going to... Okay, it actually will chop down the whole tree. For a while, tree capitator never worked with these um, dark oak wood trees, but I guess it does now. So actually, I think I will chop down one of these trees and see if we can get a ton of stuff for it. All right, so let me just do that. There we go. The entire tree's chopped down. Let me just collect all the materials that we need. Moving on, where I see another bee dungeon over there, and I still miss the fact that I can't zoom in anywhere. We also um, organized our food off camera into its food chest, like I showed. So we have a ton more food. We still, I would say, need some food, but don't worry about that. Now, continuing onward, actually, let's kill some chicken right now. It'd be great if we could um, get enough food to never have to worry about food again, but that's probably not going to happen. I actually see a lucky block structure over here. I have no idea if we've already hit this one or not. We might have. Let's see. No, we have not. Okay, so we're in new territory. That shows it's always a good indicator if you find a new lucky block. And actually, hello, hello, what are you right here? just mine you guys up what are you ancient tried alien spawn eggs all right that's interesting anytime we do want to find a new boss we could always attempt just the spawn eggs but oh we got chest what's in this you know remember when i said we needed more armor i think we just found what we we're looking for all right and let me just grab up the quartz pillars here because we're probably gonna need them at some point or another and i never want to deal with this again um, and I also wanted to say, again, guys, if you could, you can comment down below any um, suggestions you have for the series in terms of like mods you want me to add. I can't really say take out because there's only two mods installed, really. But if there's any mods you want me to add in, comment them down below if um, they get added, they get added. The only thing that would make me not add them is if they were too big of a mod. Because I'm trying just to keep this like a full or spawn mod only. But if there's a mod that's like smaller. And it could add some cool stuff and advantages into the world and challenging. Then um, it would be very interesting to have. And also look what we found right here guys. It's an inventory pet structure. So if I just mine up this tree right here. As you can see the blocks is right here. Let me just crack or open it. No. That can't be it. Is that... It is. Guys, our second inventory pet of the entire series is one of the four rarest you can get. 
And I don't think you guys understand. I think we just won the game. Um. So yeah, let me let me just. I need to relish this moment for a minute. Let me just double check see if there's anything around me gonna kill me. All right, so this pet, the slime pet, cannot be crafted. You can only find it in the tree versions of the chests, like for the inventory pets. So you can't find it in the clouds. You can't find it underground. You can't find it by the beaches. This is like a specific to this like. I want to say biome, but type of loot area. So, saves you from certain death is what it says. Its favorite food is a golden apple. So, it says legendary. So, here's the problem. We don't have many golden apples. However, this thing, if you're about to die, like if you're about to get one shot by anything, you won't. It will consume a golden apple instead, and you will survive. So, guys, let me just grab that up right here. So, as long as I have golden apples on me, this guy right there will always keep me alive. Now, there's a bit of a, I don't want to say glitch, but an issue with him. That being said, there's another chest right there. But here's the issue with him. Um, he doesn't register well for mobs that do over 20 damage. So, what well, I don't even want to say that. Mobs that hit with an insane amount of damage immediately. So if one shot, like, or spawn mobs are notorious for one-shotting you regardless of what armor you have on. There's a chance that it will not register properly and just consider that a one-shot even though it isn't. And just consume a golden apple anyway even if I wouldn't have died. So, yeah, that's the only issue with him. But he's a very essential creature to have. Now, you're probably wondering, how do we get enough golden apples to sustain this guy? Well, there's a thing called a golden apple cow if you missed my previous episodes where I've gone over them. And the cow, if you kill it, just drops golden apples. It's like a normal farm animal. So if we get a ton of those, cultivate them, farm them. I don't think cultivate was the right word for a cow. But um, if we if we um raise up a, a good um batch of them and keep slaughtering them and getting more, then we'll once we get to the farming section of the mod, don't worry, we'll we'll cover that. Now that being said, there's another one right here. So let me just break. Break, let me just break the fifth wall right now and get through all of this. Um, let me just put that piece of dirt back. Um, and this one, what's this one? Oh, the chicken pet. All right. Claimed. Um, so the chicken pet. His favorite food is seeds. So as long as you have seeds, he's got no issue. We'll take him out of our inventory right now. But um, he constantly will give you eggs. Some more chickens. And he gives you a speed boost. And as you just saw, that speed boost was amazing. It's like speed three or something. But yeah. So, we just hit the jackpot, and talk about hitting the jackpot, we just found some enchanted golden apple cows, so, remember what I was saying about the golden apple thing? Yeah, that's a thing too. too. Now, um, hmm. What the heck can I even get rid of? Um, get rid of the chest, we have that, we have that. We don't need the saplings as much, let's grab up some of the meats, the food. Alright. So yeah, actually, I was about to say our day's going pretty well, and then that was right there. Okay, getting out of here. That's the Mantis Dungeon. Why are those things so prominent everywhere I go? Hello, Frog. Um, all right. So this is coming in time. Let's go home and um. Wow, I'm always tempted to end off the episode here. We got so much good stuff. All right, we need to cook some stuff up. Shove all that in there. Now, I don't even know what to do with him right now. We need to put him in there for now. He can just. You, you can just sit tight in there. We'll, we'll get to you in a minute. Don't worry. Um, Just trying to think of how I want to go about this now. Because we got some golden apples. Um, No, that does not go in there. Where the foods? The foods, but that's like not in edible foods. We need the, 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 the stuff. I'm just blown away by that right now. We just won the game. And I, uh, to be honest, I thought that was the one we'd never get. That's, like, how rare that thing is. I really do not believe we were ever going to get, like... Okay, so if I just search pets, if we look right here, we have the black hole pet, which is the legendary of the underground area. We have the cloud pet, which is the legendary of the sky area, the most common one. We have the... Where is he? I'm looking. Um... Where the heck is he? Okay, up here. The pufferfish pet, which is common to the... The, um beach ones and then we got the slime pet which is common to the trees and or not common but like the legendary for the trees so definitely probably one of the rare ones and we got him in an instant and before i just click something i'm just yeah we still have that stupid thing enabled okay um cheat mode is still enabled on here i was trying to check uh recipes but 
Something I do want to craft is this feed bag really quickly. Can I? I think I can. So I need leather. I'm going to need string. I'm going to need one chest and un diamondo. All right. Let me just go over here and grab up a chest really quickly while I'm at it. Dump all this wood in here. All right. So how do I craft it? It goes like this. I can't use the quick crafting recipe because it doesn't work it. You know, I thought I grabbed a chest. I could have, like, didn't I just click that? I swear I did. All right. Chest in the center, diamond, string, and leather like so, and we did it backwards? How do you, how do you do this thing? Stop, 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 stop. How do you do this? Why isn't it showing me the recipe now? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, what the heck? Recipe. Okay. Okay, so chest, diamond, then string. Or right, let's do this. So chest, diamond, I think I already did it backwards. Oh my gosh, my memory. String. All right, so let's just do this. There we go, feedback. All right, so the feedback, if you have not seen this thing before, basically you just put all the food in here that would feed the inventory pets and it should be fine. Now, we don't have nearly enough well, seeds or... Um, golden apples if we look over here to sustain anything, but I'm going to keep this in my inventory for now. As for the armor, we don't have an armor set up yet. Great. Alright, I'm just going to drop all the armor and weapon stuff in these two chests for now. Which is fine. Um, we got some more melons, of course we did. Uh, and the string and the leather can go here. Actually, actually, I think we might as well start on this right now. So let me just grab the string. Grab the leather. And of course, we got some of our um, bound leather that we can chuck in here. How's our fuel source looking? Pretty well. Okay, so let's grab all the mob drops. Chuck all those in there. The... the What are those? Quartz pillars go over there. Which I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with that in the wheat. Chuck it in here right now. Alright, now that's all taken care of. Oh, wait. We still have an ant nest we need to get rid of. Maybe we could travel. Do we want to? Huh. Do you want to travel to the Ant Dimensions this episode? Hmm. You know, I think we're going to put that off till next episode. Right now, let's just focus on getting ready for it. Next episode, we'll go to the Ant Dimension because we'll most likely get a ton of good stuff there. So let's go down here and see what the surface has to offer us. All right, hello, spiders. I actually need your string. So I'm going to kill both of you right now. Other spider, if you'd kindly emerge, thank you. Zombie, hi. Bye. Um, let's see. There's more zombies over here. It's actually a ton of cobwebs right Ow. Not now, skeleton. Not now. Not now. I know you're stuck in your webs. Hi, other skeleton. How are you doing? Alright, we still have our bow that we don't use much, but <laughs> I'm sure there will be a time and a place for that. We got some more string, which is perfect. We're trying to, if you're wondering why we're collecting the string at nighttime, is because um, the string will spawn some of the caterpillar. But the string can be used for, the string can be used for um, the larger backpacks. We haven't even crafted a regular backpack yet, but if we get enough tan leather, we need a tan leather, we'll be able to immediately get the next backpack level, which is the bigger one. We will store all of our stuff in said backpack. And not have to worry about anything. Hello, other zombie, by the way. I know you were just itching to kill me there, but uh, sorry. No deal. And what's great is our mantis claw acts as a sword, so we can chop up all these cobwebs and not have any issue. Hello, skeleton. Let me just dodge and weave you. All right. You're dead. Let me just eat an apple. And continue on breaking all of this webbing. Now, I know this is not the most exhilarating part of the episode, but it has to be done. Because if we don't do this, then... We'll, we just will always have a full inventory, and if we die with a full inventory, that's just bad. Really bad. Alright, that's collected. Now let's check around here. There's another zombie right here. I'll kill you off. And I see some pigs. I'm not going to kill those. I'll kill the apple cow, though. And I actually see a creeper. Hello, creeper. Hello, zombie. Hello, a lot of creepers, actually. Hmm. Any place you want to teleport to? Didn't I set a waypoint to the... Yeah, jungle maze. Teleport. Alright, so how's this place looking at night? Probably horrible. Um, let's grab another one of these jungle trees while we're here. Why is it taking so long to break? There shouldn't be much of this tree. 
Yep, there we go. Let's pick up all this. And we got some more rocks, but I'm not going to collect anymore. For now, at least. There's no need. Um, looking around, there's not exactly too much. There's still the bee dungeon over there. There's nothing but bee and mantis dungeons. And yes, if we beat either of those dungeons, we would have a ton more stuff. Like armor, weapons, and such. But problem is... We're not strong enough to even beat one of them. By the time we are strong enough, the gear won't be worth it anymore. Um, we actually got an entire stack of string, I'm just realizing. So let me teleport home and craft this into what we need. Yeah, we got a stack and seven string. That's amazing. All right, so let me just do that. Combine that with that, then do that. So are we actually going to get one? Yeah, we are. If we... um cook all this up we're actually gonna have enough yeah to make a backpack that's great I didn't expect that but um yes that pays off for going out at night all right let's combine these two bows that we got to get another one excellent add that meat in there and add the extra wood into their respective chests along with the trees all right I'm tempted to plant trees on top of our house in, in a last ditch effort of getting any sort of food like apples or anything but I don't think we need to worry about that exactly. Um, how are we doing cooking up? We only have 17 pieces of coal left. Hey, 17. But, yeah, I don't want to go to any dimensions this episode just because. I know we could, but my armor is nowhere near. Now it's raining. My armor is nowhere near. Good enough here. I'll actually sleep. I moved my bed over here. But, yeah, armor's nowhere good enough to do that. It would get destroyed. It's almost destroyed anyway. So, I actually think I know where I want to go right now. And I actually think I know how to do it. I think. I'm going to eat a notch apple. And go to the worm right now and kill him. Hey guys. How you doing? Hi, how you doing guys? How you doing? How you, yeah, yeah, how, how you doing guys? Isn't it strange that you can knock my armor off and not kill me? Yeah, I know, right? It, it's so strange that you guys aren't able to kill me, but they are doing a heck of a ton of damage, even with the Notch Apple. Okay, I need to be careful still. If I, <laughs> if I um, don't watch, I might actually still die. Now, where'd the pants go? Okay, there they are. Alright, so we still have the resistance on. We should be able to pull this off if we hit them one at a time. Should be fine. I got my piece of dirt back, which I'm actually surprised about. Alright, that one's about to die. Oh, watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, they got me. Cheaters. They're all cheaters. All right, come here. Teleport. Worms. That's crazy. Even with a notch apple, they can still deal enough damage to annihilate me. All right, so let me just grab my stuff back. You guys are mean. You know that? You guys are mean. What's great is you can actually hit them. It's kind of funny, but you can actually hit them when they're... Oh, you're right there. Alright, let me just kill this one off. Alright, killed him. And the the real fight's coming right after I kill these guys. These aren't even the main event. They're still the appetizers. I guess if we're going off of that analogy here. Um, Alright, I think I lost my Notch Apple ability, so let me just grab one more. And it's fine that I'm wasting these right now. Like, we will get a ton more back. Alright, so let me just grab up my... Now I lost my pants again. Oh, you guys are still here. You guys are still here. Alright, come on, come on. Just gotta make sure I keep collecting um, the stuff. Oh, I can't let any of them get behind me because if they knock me in like an infinite loop of like hitting me, I won't be able to do anything about it. But, there we go. Okay. Uh, Alright, I know plan B. Where is he? Cloud, we're using you right now. Alright, teleport to worm death location. Let's grab all of our stuff back. Yeah, there's one right there. That's so unfair. All right, grab up everything. We got our sword. Now we should not, shoulda, woulda, coulda. We should not die. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it just healed me, as you can see. And actually, it heals you more than once. I thought it was, it would keep eating you, but it actually has durability, so we'll be fine. All right, put those back on. We're definitely not gonna have armor after this. And if you hear that noise, that's it reviving me after death. Alright, that one's dead. Let me just run and grab all my stuff again. We don't have a helmet anymore. Rip helmet. Alright. I have to watch because if I, I can still die 
if he eats all the food up. But he's not glitching at all, which I'm happy about. And my chest plate's broke too. Come on, guys. You're almost dead. And so am I, actually. Come on. Just a few more. That one's dead. That one's down. Let me just try critical hitting these guys. Come on. I should have had strength. For, like, I should have gotten strength. Oh, there's one over here. Wait. That one's dead. All right. At least we're getting a ton more leather. All right. Two more left. That one's down. Now. Where the heck's my foot? Wait, what the? There's three left. All right. Just make sure I'm still healing. Hit him once. All right. That was a good shot. That one's dead. Okay. We only have a little bit durability left. Okay. I swear there was only two left, but there's still a ton more. All right. That one's down. We only have as much as this guy is giving us left. So let me just grab up that. Put that on. Come on. That one's down. One more. Actually. What the heck? Every time I say one more, there's three. Okay. Two more. There's not any more after this. There's no... Stubborn. Alright, that one has one health left, and this one has six. I just gotta hit him. Alright, one more. One more. Let me just kill that ant for good luck. Um, The moment this happens, I'm probably gonna die, but... Alright, dead. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, there he is. There he is, the giant worm. 90 health. Let's do this, guys. Boss fight inbound. Now, since there's only one of him, it's we're able to hit him. Now, this guy's ability is different from the other ones. Normally, they knock your arm off. This guy, it's whatever item is in your hand. If he hits you, you he'll throw it on the ground. Which it didn't just do right there. All right. All right. I actually know what to do here. Get out the bow. Arrow shot him. I don't care if it only does five damage. We can kill him right here, guys. And we're actually out of arrows. Okay, we can do this. We have one more shot left for our slime pet also. But we're going to do this in our last shot, guys. The war is about to die. GG. And he's down with a ton of experience to boot. All right. Now let's check out our spoils of war. And I don't know why my shovel is over there. Okay, we did it. The worm's down. Delete waypoint. Teleport home. All right. So after our armor getting wrecked, beyond belief the slime pet only has one durability left poor guy all right so our feed bags here we have our shovel arrows axe um all right so we got a ton of leather and rotten flesh from the medium-sized worms we got 16 gold nuggets four titanium nuggets four uranium nuggets five diamonds the item frame and a worm tooth we got it the actual worm tooth i don't know if you guys noticed i post i put that like picture there just as like a remembrance of what we just recently killed i'll put the worm tooth there now put the claw away but guys we did it we killed the um the worm and i know on hindsight it sounds like it's not that big of an accomplishment but yeah you guys saw what that thing can do we did it and actually we have a ton of gold ingots now i can make into a gold or ton of gold nuggets we can make into gold ingots all right so that's down. Now we got a problem. We have no golden apples left. And we only have one shot left in our slime pet. So actually, every gold apple is worth four instant revives for the slime pet. And you actually work perfectly there. Normally it's like death. Alright, so we need to replace our armor. So let me just grab the iron helmet we have and the chain chest plate we have. Our iron leggings are honestly going to break. So let me just grab another pair and replace those really quickly. And we honestly can't afford any boots at the moment. So I'm just going to chuck these over there, the landslide there. All right, so shove the dirt in there. We got another item frame, go us, and we got a poppy. I know, great flowers. Now, I know it's still about seven minutes till the end, but I'm ending off the episode right now. I honestly, here, wait, let me just grab the stone really quickly and shove it in this chest over here. Um... But yeah, I couldn't be more happy with the results of today's episode. We did extremely well. I'm putting our slime pet away. You really came in clutch for us. If we did not get him, we would not have killed that worm today. But anyways, guys, we're ending off the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that like button to show your support. Subscribe to the channel to see more Minecraft or Spawn or any other Minecraft mod series is like so. And we have, I think, 17 bosses left to kill. And then we'll finally be able to craft Big Bertha. Thank you guys for watching once more, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.